it's been a morning. Um, it's been a couple weeks, honestly, where I've just felt this like, Bleh. but I thought that I would um, feel my feelings because maybe another mom out there is struggling with this or needs to hear my struggle can help somebody else feel encouraged or not feel alone because I feel kind of really alone right now. Um, so Braylon has not been gaining any weight and he's gone like three weeks, like just plateaued, staying the exact same weight. And we've added a bunch of things and I've given up dairy and today I went to take him to get weighed and he was the exact same weight. Um, and it's just really hard to feel like I know that I'm not failing him. I know that he's nourished um, because I feed him as much as he wants and he nurses as long as he wants. And we've been giving him bottles with some formula and so I don't really know what to do. Lacta I just was at lactation this morning and I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor on what our next steps are because obviously something has to change. Um, because he's not gaining weight and he has it for three weeks and you'd think, you know, four months old, they'd have this whole weight thing figured out, but that's not the truth. So it's really hard and stressful on me and I don't feel like it's helping my supply because I'm just stretched, like stressed. I tried to nurse him today in front of the lactation consultant and like, I couldn't, like my milk wouldn't let down and Braylon was screaming and there. There's tons of people in the room and it's just really overwhelming. And so I, I, just, I couldn't, so I just got up and I left and I went home and it took us like 30 minutes of more like him crying and me trying to breathe because if I'm stressed, I won't let down. Um, so I really thought this morning going in that we were going to see a good weight gain, a good increase and... There was nothing, not even a single ounce. So, uh, being a parent is really hard. And feeling like you want to do everything for your kid. And it's just hard. It's hard to feel like, am I, should I just give up this whole breastfeeding thing and just formula feed him? But it's something that I really want to do. So, I'm willing to work at it. But I just don't want it to be a reason why he's not you know gaining like he should be so yeah <laughs> anyways enough of my tears i just thought i'd come on so if you're a mom out there and <laughs> your baby has struggled to gain weight um your baby's in the third percentile or less like mine is uh, i'm with you <laughs> and i'm sorry because this really sucks and i wish i had <laughs> somebody who could help guide me and tell me the right thing because I, I mean I have somebody doing that but it's like I have lactation telling me one thing and I have doctors telling me another and so it's just like overwhelming so anyways that's an update hopefully we'll gain some weight next week I think I'm gonna have PTSD of the dang scale like I get so freaking nervous every time I go weigh him <laughs> But I'll update you guys next week with what his weight is. Praying for a miracle. Praying. Little update. Um, feeding the baby. Um, I just got a call from his doctor. And um, it's kind of sad. This is the last time I'm going to nurse him for the next couple days. Because she wants me to pump every feeding and fortify all of his bottles and we go on on Thursday for a weight check so I am worried because I don't get as much whenever I pump so I hope I can keep up and now that I'm dairy free I can't really use my stash of milk so um yeah so I'm stressed about that but gotta do what's best for Braylon and help him gain so We'll see how the weight check goes on Thursday. All right, it's a new day. I have coffee brewing because I need it. It was quite the night for me last night. Um, 
I have alarms now for 10 p.m., 1 a.m., and 4 a.m. to wake up and pump to build up my supply and help um, have extra milk for Braylon. But last night went differently. Um, I woke up at 10, pumped normal, got about three ounces, same with at one, was able to fall back asleep normal. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I've had really bad insomnia, um, which is like crazy because you're so sleep deprived, so I don't really understand why the heck I have insomnia um, because I need the sleep. But anyways, sorry, I'm changing hands, my arm hurts. Um, anyway, so Braylon woke up last night at 2.40, which is like not normal. Um, so we went in and gave him a bottle and tried to, I tried to go back to sleep and I like literally couldn't. So I've been up since 2.40. I like tossed and turned. I counted backwards. I literally did everything possible to try to put myself back to sleep and I couldn't. But I woke up and I was like, woke up. I finally decided to get out of bed when Braylon woke up at six. Um, and I was like, I'm still gonna make today a good day. I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm starting triple feeding today, which is like a full-time job in itself. Um, so I don't know if I gave the update about the doctor once. The doctor wants us to pump and get bottles and put formula in every single one of his bottles. So I was gonna do that, but I'm really worried about my supply. So somebody had told me about triple feeding and I was like, well, let me just look it up. So basically I nurse and then after I finish nursing, I bottle feed him and I pump. So I need like an extra arm today. So hopefully, and then, so every feeding, he's gonna be getting two ounces of breast milk with fortified, uh, with fortified milk in it. So hopefully, this coffee maker is really loud. <laughs> so hopefully that will help um, gain some extra calories, but the triple feed will be quite the job. But I was like, you know what? I can either choose to be in a bad mood, be sleep deprived, or I'm gonna seize the day and hope that this triple feeding works out good today. So that's the update. I hope this goes well and I wish I had another hand so I could do this whole pump feed thing, but it'll be good. Are you a big boy? Are you a big boy holding your bottle? You're making this triple feed much easier. <laughs> now, if only I could get some milk. What are you doing? Willow. She just climbed up on the table. She's never done that. She must smell something from dinner last night. No. Okay, so today is the doctor appointment where we go and see if Braylon has gained any weight. Um, I'm really nervous to see if he has, I don't know, because the past three weeks that we've put him on the scale, he's been the exact same and we've tried and implemented so many things. And so I'm really nervous. Um, and the doctor will see me cry if he hasn't gained weight because I'm gonna be genuinely so confused. So, um, fingers crossed that all goes well and that he gains weight. It is a coffee type of morning. I had to go to our favorite coffee shop, Post, and get coffee because I was up from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Because as you know, I'm waking up um, at 10, 1, and 4 to pump and I've had really bad insomnia. My thyroid doctor actually called me the other day, or the nurse, and was like, hey, your levels are high, have you been having insomnia? That's a side effect, and I was like, yeah. So, um, I think I might need to adjust my meds or something. But, so I pumped at one, and then I couldn't fall back asleep, and then about two o'clock, Braylon started crying, which is not, I mean, he's been, sometimes waking up around this time but it's more like three or four that he wakes up and cries and so very confusing but so we were dealing with that got him fed and then still did not fall back asleep until uh four and then he was up at 5 50. so yeah i'm sleep deprived today so i'm thankful i had to get the good stuff today not stuff that I can make at home. Mama needed the good stuff. Also, hopefully this will help my spirits and give me lots of energy for this doctor appointment today. So, here we go. 
I made it to the doctor and my heart is literally in my stomach. I am like, I'm really anxious and I am praying for good results because I don't really know what to do if he hasn't gained weight. So here goes nothing. How much did you gain? Huh? Seven ounces. Seven ounces. You're 13 pounds. Three ounces? Thank goodness. <laughs> All you do is eat. Yay. All you do. Yay. Okay, so I'm a very happy mama. Um, he gained seven ounces since in three days, which is amazing. Um, but I didn't necessarily love what the doctor has to say. Um, they want him to go see OT to see if it's like a, a transfer problem that he is not transferring enough. So, another doctor appointment. Love that. Part of me just thinks he likes the bottle better. I don't really know. But I am really thrilled that he gained weight. That makes me feel like just, oh, thank goodness. Um, now I just have to work on keeping my supply up for him. So, yay. And no, he's not in the car, see? So I'm not videoing and driving at the same time, plus I'm in our neighborhood. But I would never video and drive at the same time if my precious cargo was in the car. I want to give the last little update for this video. Um, it is Monday and we just left support group. Um, if you hear that in the background, it is our robot vacuum cleaning our floors. Oh, there it just went love her her name's Linda she makes my life so much easier um, but anyway so on Friday I had a one-on-one -on -one consultation with um, a lactation consultant the one that I've been meeting with every single Monday and um, Braylon will never eat for her because he's so distracted I think I've mentioned that um, and so she offered usually they charge $45 and I think it's because she sees how much I'm struggling she's like we won't charge you because she's she's tried to watch him but he just won't so we went in and sorry I thought he just woke up we went in and um got him weighed and she watched him and he had gained like an ounce from the doctor appointment so he was like 13 one or something I don't know and then, so that made me feel better. And then she watched him eat and she gave me a lot of good suggestions, which was super helpful. And I already feel like things are going better, um, like breastfeeding wise. But today when I went to go get him weighed, he'd only gained like an ounce. And so, I mean, at least he's gaining. I can't complain he's gaining, so that's good. But I just feel like it's gonna be a really slow process. Um, and. I don't want to get discouraged, but it's hard not to when like you want your child to gain weight <laughs> and he's, I mean, he is, it's better than the three weeks stagnant. So what we're doing is working just not as fast. Um, but you know what? I think every week could be different. So I'm going to continue to go every Monday and get him weighed. And hopefully we are on the track of weight gain. I also feel like whenever we introduce foods and solids, he'll start putting on weight as well. He's just a really active guy. I just feel like he's he's honestly probably burning more calories than he is in taking it sometimes because he's always on the move, always kicking his legs. Like he's just super active. So I, I don't think he's ever gonna be like super high on the charts if he keeps up his activities, but we're gonna try to get him there. I'm gonna stay positive. Um, I'm going to work as hard as I have to to continue breastfeeding him because it's something that I am determined to do. So I'm just hoping this was a hump in the road and that we can look back at this next month and, you know, be proud of what we have come, where we have come. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my emotional <laughs> 
um, ride of the past week and a half with all of his weight struggles. Um, if you're a mom out there struggling with this, um, I'm sorry and I'm hoping your baby can put on some weight like mine <laughs> and um, I'm happy to talk or you can just watch my videos <laughs> and go on this gaining weight journey with me. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Um, I'll see you in my next video and please subscribe and like my video. It helps um, so much and also if you turn on the little bell notification thingy, you get notified when I post a new video. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.